The vote today is about one very discreet piece, and that is the training of these rebels. And, and I don't know if that's the word we use, rebels. They've been described in a number of different ways. But what it is is a short-term, short-term initiative to train the moderates outside of Syria. This training will take place outside of Syria. I don't know how the vote will turn out. It's not a vote we whip. We just don't vote. We just don't whip war votes. Uh, but I do think that as members weigh the factors that they will, I think, give points to the president for all that he has done diplomatically, politically, humanitarian-wise, and ask for this discreet peace. It is not to be confused with any authorization to go further. And I've told this to my caucus, and they've told it to me. We are not there to support combat troops in any of these engagements. Our purpose is not to, in, not to engage in civil war in Syria, and our purpose is not uh, to continue the war in Iraq. Our purpose is to stop ISIS from its brutality. The, uh, their, uh, ISIS is, performs outside the circle of civilized human behavior. It is a threat to our friends in the region. It is a, 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 a threat to us, and it's a threat to stability, and it must be stopped. I do not support our sen The worse it gets there, the less reason I think we should send in troops. People are just going to have to weigh all the equities. And all I have said to them is I support this because I weigh heavily the equity that the President of the United States has put forth a strong initiative founded on non-military strength, a new government in Iraq, humanitarian assistance to people affected by ISIS, diplomacy to build a coalition uh, of support in NATO and in the region, and that this discrete piece of training moderates outside of Syria, it's very important to me that it be outside of Syria, is uh, worthy of support. They will make their own judgment about it.